Welcome to part 5 of this series of fall work on high water mobility deciduous trees such as Japanese maples. This is a blood good, the fifth of the lot that I need to perform branch selection. And this tree is somewhat challenging. It's a little more unusual than even the other ones in that it has this grotesque grotesquely wide nebari and taper depending on where you see and depending also where you see you have then inverse taper so it's quite challenging to find a proper front and I'm leaning towards this like a front as a front where you sort of see this as a back branch to cover this huge negative space I will remove this this branch here there is there is a white nebari that is made up with the back part here this this huge uh, root here I will probably remove in the future or at least shorten it and I may bury this deeper because there is actually quite a it's hard to see but there is a there are holes all around under the base so either I lift this up and highlight this and make sort of a fairy tale style or I bury it further depending on what the roots below allow me to do uh, and have a more gracious traditional nebari. So this is something that I will decide in the future but for now I will style this tree assuming this this is the front this is the front and uh, somewhere here and uh, but uh, again using the concepts of uh, natural lines and and uh, sustainable design the tree will look good from all directions and in the future and based on what I find in the roots I will decide uh, how it will proceed so Without further ado, we will go into the time lapse. Okay, this is the final result of uh, the fifth Japanese maple in this series of uh, fall work on high water mobility deciduous trees. This is more or less the front that I envision. This is all the ramification after one year of training, two years from collection using the um, hedge pruning method of water pole. I have uh, used here a guy wire to bring down this branch and in fact it goes under the trunk and then it's attached here in the front um, on this root that I'm not sure if I will keep I don't even know if it's alive but I protected it in any case just in case and that's it if you have any comments or questions please send them i hope uh, i hope this series is of some use or interest to some of you and if you like 
please subscribe please share and again thank you for watching